So there's been a potential update in the Mads Mikkelsen Fantastic Beast Insanity where it looked like Mads Mikkelsen called it quit. He basically it looked like he got tired of the social media insanity where according to the media he was calling it quits. He had deleted his Instagram, he was done with social media, and you know exactly who they blame for that. Here's the thing though, according to a post that's been circulating far and wide, apparently it might not have been Mads Mads Mickelson's fault. You and I, we're going to talk about that today. And regardless of outcome, there are a lot of people connected to a certain person in a certain company that owe a lot of folks an apology. You and I, we're going to talk about all of this today. <sighs> crazy times that just get crazier, right? <laughs> crazy times indeed. Ah, the days, they just keep getting more interesting, don't they? So, hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And just to make this abundantly clear, I like Mads Mikkelsen. I like Mads Mikkelsen a lot. I love the man's work in Hannibal. And I think the internet actually would be better off with people like him around. Now, if you don't know what's going on here, I'm going to give you the nickel tour, as it were. Not spending a lot of time on this, but essentially, Fantastic Beast trailer dropped. You can see it right here. You're invited back to magic. Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore is in theaters April 15th, 2022. Now, this, it gets a lot, and I do mean a lot of attention, too. You'll notice it's picked up over a million views already. This is just one trailer on Twitter alone. It's picked up around 30,000 and likes, 13,100 retweets, and over 6,000 quote tweets. Along with that, I'm not going to go through these a whole lot. Now, along with that, it gets quite a bit of blowback. I mean, you know what's going on with a certain actor, with a certain Aquaman star, and also with J.K. Rowling. In fact, if you look at this post, you'll notice a little icon in the corner. That icon means that the user, they're hiding replies. That's what warns does a lot, by the way. They have their interns do this and other things that make their products look better. Now, strangely, and this got me really wondering about what's going on with Mads Mikkelsen. Is this post actually accurate that we're going to look at today? But if you look under the hidden replies, they're hiding all types of comments about people like Mads Mikkelsen and the stuff posted about Mikkelsen. Well, it's not necessarily bad. I mean, you see, right here at the top, hidden replies, holy crap, Grindel Mads is perfect. So this is somebody that loves Mads Mickelson in it, but, you know, we need more. How can we wait until April? Great trailer. So this person loves it. They love Mads Mickelson, but they hid that on them, and yeah, they did this to a lot of other people as well. See, soon after, after that Fantastic Beast 3 trailer dropped, we're talking about in a few short hours, Mads Mickelson's Instagram, it ends up getting ghosted. You can see this mentioned in a few articles. This is CBR.com posting about it, saying that Fantastic Beast 3 fans, although I would say these are more Mads Mickelson fans than movie fans, but they're begging Mads Mickelson to return to Instagram after his abrupt departure. Now, certain people People connected to a person that shall remain nameless, as well as shill outlets. They have had a field day pointing the finger, saying these folks over here, they're the ones to blame, despite knowing anything about what went on. I mean, that that's what you expect from these folks, too. And look at how nasty these comments are. It's incredible that it took a male actor closing his Instagram account after online harassment and intimidation before the press can note a vile antics of, we're going to say that, Pirates online fan community. By the way, and really this has relevance to what we're talking about, the person that actually posted this, they are parked in a group that backs that certain person that shall remain nameless, a group that says they're in contact with their representatives that have gone out and done 
all types of things online. That includes filing false police reports. That includes harassing, doxing, doing all kinds of things, digging into stuff. So yeah, when I see this right here, I wonder who exactly is behind that. I know who this would be blamed on, by the way, but when I see them posting that, yeah, I think, hmm, it gets the old noggin jogging, right? So this post here, though, it actually adds a little bit of clarity. I'm cutting part of this off, too, because it actually has a group attached to it. That group, they have cell phone numbers and on. Don't want to put that out here. That's not allowed on the platform. But you can see the poster. And this, it's gotten over a 1,000 likes while it was up. It says that Mad's Instagram account, it was actually hacked. It wasn't shut down. It wasn't done voluntarily. It was hacked and then closed down. And the reply here, that's from Mads Mickelson's manager. The manager, I mean, they pretty much spell this out. They spell it out quickly. They say, hey, yeah, that Instagram here, they were asked a question. That's been hacked. We are working on what happened. Basically, they're trying to get control. And if you have ever seen anyone dealing with this stuff, by the way, it's hard to get control back to any of your accounts. Basically, you know, you contact places, you jump through a lot of hoops. But yeah, even for an actor, that that would be difficult. Now, if that utterly detestable behavior in hacking, it actually turns out to be true, then a lot of outlets, a lot of outlets that don't even know the name of the movie that they're going after people with, yeah, they owe a lot of apologies. I mean, listen to this here. When it was announced in 2020 that Mads Mikkelsen would replace JD as Grindelwald in the third installment of Fantastic animals. Man, what a win there, right? Many were disappointed by the departure of J.D., who had been in the first two films, but also many celebrated that an actor as recognized and talented as Mickelson was chosen to give life to the villain in the saga. Now, shortly after the release of the official trailer for Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, it seems that J.D.'s most passionate fans revealed his worst side his worst side and due to cyberbullying because of his worst side Mickelson chose to shut down his Instagram account See, when I first saw this, I actually thought, I hope this isn't a PR stunt. I wouldn't think that Mads Mikkelsen would do that, but a lot of people have. They've deleted something because, hey, you know, you're replacing an actor. There's controversy to that. Presto manifesto, you flip the script and boom, people get to write things like this, pointing a finger at anyone that brings that up with the movie. This, though, hacking, that's much more insidious. That says that anybody could have been involved, including the people that are putting out messages just like this. Yeah, new layer to it, new layer of craziness. The Fantastic Beast flop continues, but you tell me what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. Appreciate Mads Mickelson too. I hope you get this stuff fixed if you were actually hacked there. But Appreciate you showing up. Appreciate you supporting the channel. If you want to do more, there are links in the description. But yeah, sub, share this, all of that, and thank you. Thank you sincerely.